G'day mates, Marilyn is a valued member on our Sleep HQ Pro community and if you'd like to join that community, just click the link above. Now Marilyn has been struggling with a really common CPAP side effect called aerophasia. And now we all know air is supposed to go down into our lungs, but sometimes with CPAP therapy, it can actually go down into our stomach. And it's quite uncomfortable, you get a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, which is quite unpleasant. Now I'll quickly read you Marilyn's post and then I'll show you what we did to improve her comfort, which is really important. All right, worsening aerophasia. And you can see here her post had a huge 64 comments, which is what's so great about the community. Hey, everyone shares their experience and their knowledge for the common good. I've been using Evora full face mask for the last six weeks and no air leaks, great stuff. But my bad aerophasia has returned gassy every morning and by the afternoon look like I'm six months pregnant and very uncomfortable. My settings are six to ten and what that means is she's using an automatic machine, the, the pressure min, the bottom pressure is six and the maximum pressure is ten. So that's the pressure range between six and ten and the automatic will deliver pressures between that range, so between six and ten. I tried upping the min pressure to seven, but it seems to make things worse. My median pressure is eight, so could I try reducing the max pressure a bit? Any suggestions appreciated. And then there's just a huge list of everyone wanting to help, which is fantastic. Now, I'm not saying that my comment is the best, but we'll just go down. Stuart here was a big help as well, but we'll just go down. Here it is, Godfather. Hey Marilyn, have you tried fixed pressure before? Try changing your therapy mode to CPAP and fix your CPAP on seven centimeters. What everyone seems to forget is this therapy is 50-50 comfort and control. You can always switch back to auto or try a higher CPAP pressure later, but personally, I would focus on what is the highest pressure you can handle without the side effects of aerophasia and go from there. If you don't know how to adjust your therapy mode, here's a vid and I provide a little vid. Now let's head over to Sleep HQ and check out her results and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, so here we are over on the Sleep HQ dashboard checking out Marilyn's results in automatic mode on Friday, February the 10th. You can see here she's got her pressure min set to six centimeters, her pressure max set to 10. Now if we look down here, we'll just scroll down and have a look at the pressure trace. So this is the machine pressure delivery throughout the night changing over time. We've got time along the bottom here, 11 p.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m., and then we've got the pressure levels up the side here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you can see there's plenty of periods in the night where the pressure is right up there near that max level, near 10. Here it's 9.98, here it's 10, here it's 10, here it's 10 again, here it's 10. Now, what we know from what Marilyn told us is that when that pressure is getting up there, what's happening is it's overwhelming her breathing and she's swallowing the air. That's what's happening in this scenario. So her results look good. Don't get me wrong, let's have a look. Apnea hypopnea index, 0 0.54, nine hours and 16 minutes, a great sleep, leak rates at zero. So her results are really good, but the comfort so let's fast forward a couple of weeks to when Marilyn's using her device in fixed pressure mode on a pressure of seven centimeters. So what are we, Feb 10th, let's go Feb 25th, yep. Although she's still using her device in automatic mode here, technically, but because she's got her pressure min and pressure max both set to seven, it's running in CPAP mode, even though it says APAP here. Now look at these results, because they're bloody unreal. AHI, 0.0, .0 perfect score, zero leak rates, unbelievable, and nine hours use. 10 out of 10, that's as perfect as it gets. Have a look at her beautiful flow rate. Let's check out some of this breathing. And it is a thing of beauty, look at that. It's textbook right there, guys. 
If you're wanting to aim for something with your CPAP therapy, aim for this. This is exactly what you want. All right, I'll just zoom out by clicking R on my keyboard. All right, so what I'm trying to show you here is we've got exceptional results in CPAP mode without those high peaks in the pressure that the automatic was providing when the pressure was going up to 10. So let's now jump back into the Sleep HQ Pro community, follow up with Marilyn. Thanks. Big thank you to Stuart Chris and Uncle Nico for all the advice, RE mask, pressure, etc. Last night I slept for nine and a half hours straight, zero AHI, zero leaks, and no aerophasia at all. I feel fabulous. My hubby is a bit scared. And I really am very grateful to you both. So that is so rewarding to me, but I bet to Stuart and everyone else who assisted Marilyn with her aerophasia. The take home message from today's video is this, the ResMed automatic algorithm, especially the standard response, will often deliver more pressure than what is required to normalize breathing to provide good results. And you can often get similar therapeutic results on fixed pressure at a lower level without the side effects. So just keep that in mind. And if you're struggling with a lot of mask leaks, aerophasia, or any of those other CPAP side effects, perhaps try switching your therapy mode from automatic to fixed pressure, dropping it down, and I think you'll be surprised at the results. Have yourselves a great day. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out Sleep HQ. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.